Hello everybody, welcome back. I am going to sit down right here. Alright, make space, come on. <sighs> we got a custom built desktop today. This thing's pretty cool, case is pretty generic. I don't see any brand branding or anything on it, so I don't know who made it. But, this thing's kind of cool, so. It was, it's, it's interesting because it was built by the previous owner's son. The previous owner isn't super tech savvy, but it seems to have been built as a decently high-end system. I'm just peering in there. It has a dedicated graphics card. It ha The RAM has heat sinks on it as well. It's got a light scribe drive. I don't know much about the specs. I saw the system properties once, and I forget. It was like a month ago. Um because I had to get some get around to getting some stuff off of it before giving it to me and um, I it, it was an AMD system that's all I really remember and it's like 2005 ish XP well it had XP I they asked me to wipe the data from it before I took it so I ran DBAN on the hard drive so it is wiped but before we reinstall XP let's take a look inside it's it's a bit dusty but nothing too bad so I'm just gonna remove the screws here, and uh, let's see what mysteries lie inside. Oh, yeah, and uh, with it I got um, various CDs, and this pack is a, a Dell... Inside this pack is a Dell Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 2 disc. Some driver reinstall for this computer or the, or the Dell that seemingly doesn't exist. <laughs> Or for that rent, whether this driver disk was for the Dell, whatever it was, or this computer, I don't know. And there was also another disk in here, I think it was, what was it? Ah, Office 2003 Professional, burned disk. Alright, let's see what secrets lie inside. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Let me show you guys this. Mmm, this is what I was worried about. Uh, I think you already know if you've seen this channel before, but bad VRM caps. Dang it! <laughs> oh, you're kidding. I'm gonna have to recap it. Lovely. Alright. So, it works. Oh, man. Okay, so two... Guys are leaking there. I can't see the values. Do I have them on hand? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, 1500 microfarad something. I don't think I have those. I'll take a closer look later. I'm going to have to take off the heat sink to clean it. And then I'll see what values there are. If I have them on hand, I'll try. But, okay. That's fine. <laughs> so, uh, other than that... It's got this funky looking heat sink on this, what's that, the South Bridge. Power supply is a Soul Tech. I have no idea if that's good or not. Hard disk is a Seagate. Uh, it's a refurbished, repaired drive, recertified. I saw from D-Band, it's a 500 gig. Corsair XMS Extreme. That's cool, let's... Get the RAM out of here, take a look at that. No cable management, but it is like 2005. Extreme Memory Speed Platinum Series. Each of these are a gig, so this thing has two gigs of RAM. Not bad, not bad. Nice carpet of dust on there. I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to have to, uh... Oh my god, look at that. Uni Unincom LED Fan. Wonderful. So I'm going to have to take this whole thing down because it's very dusty. Graphics card is something. It's passively cooled, so it's probably not that high end, but I don't care. Let's take it out and get a look. Just curious if it's ATI or if it's uh, NVIDIA. And there's, I'm going to put my phone down because there is a clip 
in there. Got it. The clip came out with it. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's an Asus OEM'd card. Um, it's a blue PCB, so I'm guessing this is an NVIDIA. 8400 GS, maybe? Is that the type of card? I'll look it up. Alright. That'll need a cleaning. My hands are already covered in dust. There's something. Dual video cards. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a laptop dim, but it's not. Is that some sort of early SLI type thing? I don't know. Does the... Do we got a floppy header? Yeah, there's a floppy header. There are three and a half inch bays, so I might add a floppy drive. Oh no, you know what? I could add, I could add a zip drive to this because it's actually got like actual three and a half inch bays, and I have a spare zip drive. It's beige, but I don't care, and it does work. It does work as well. I've tested it. So yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, let's see if I got those caps in stock, and maybe we can get them changed today. I doubt it, but these can use similar values. Uh, motherboard's an Asus board. Well, that's good news. Those are 1500 microfarad 6.3 volt caps, and I've got them in stock. I got four of them here from my Dimension E510. So, I should be able to replace them today. I don't have to make a Mauser order. Now, there are more of them. It appears there are five, but I only got four spares. So, for now, I might just replace the bulging ones. Also, since these ones are uh, wider than the originals, so it'll be a bit tricky to fit them in, but I'll be able to fit them in, I'm sure of that. And uh, yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and get the board out and we'll recap it and, hey, recap a thon part six, yeah, Pfft. ugh, no, this is just, this isn't about the caps, this is about getting this thing set up, so, and cleaned, and we just, it's just part of it, so, yeah, mm-hmm. Caps changed. Let's get it all back together. Mm. All right. Let's see. Video card error. All right, so that's happening again. All right, all right. So I did a quick test off camera, and it's giving me an, giving me an error about the video. So does this thing have integrated VGA? Nope. Hmm. All right, time to go and do some reseeding. All right, let's try this again. Come on now. Come on. Hey. Hey. One, two, three, four. Check some error. Computer chip fan fail or speed too low. You can disable the warning message and set up. All right, which one of these fans? They're all spinning. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to assume it's okay until it isn't. Alright, alright. Let's get this thing set up, shall we? F1. 
Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna need some Windows XP discs, aren't I? Oh, and it's booted up into D-Ban. How nice. What's cool is this thing has a reset button, and it looks like I got it plugged in back to the right stupid header. I hate those things. It's my first time dealing with them. But, uh... Yeah, okay, so what's this? Computer chip fan. Fail or speed too low? Why does this always happen? I swear, three different computers I've come across have had fans that spin and have never had overheating issues, and yet I get that warning. I don't get it. Anyway, good to see that the reset button I at least plugged back into the proper header. That's nice. I'm gonna get ex I'm gonna get all the OS stuff dealt with because you don't need to see that, and uh, then I will come back and update all of you. Ugh. Right. So, um, in typical fashion for me, it has been months since all that you just saw was recorded. So, it's set up, mostly. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. So, quick, let's talk specs. So, this thing has an... it's newer than I thought. And that is what I was talking about. I swear... I did the activation patch, but it's undone itself. So that's lovely, but it is, I just need to go into safe mode and rerun that and I think it'll be fine. So I'll deal with that later. But uh, anyways, so I got it all set up. It works just fine, which is nice. It is newer than I thought. This thing has an Athlon 64X2 in it. So this thing's dual core 64 bit. So yeah quite interesting. So this is probably dating from like 2006, 2007 maybe even, and that's strange that the caps went bad, because I think by 2007 they were all in the clear, I guess not, but whatever. So it's got 2 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce 8400GS, which is not a good card. I put text on screen earlier, but yeah, not a good card. And uh, Pretty basic, it's got that light scribe drive in there. Nice clicky reset button here. That is just all too satisfying to just click and uh Yeah, it's a nice little system. I could I should probably put Vista on this honestly. I don't know if the card in here can handle arrow, it should be able to. But yeah. So that's all. Uh thank you all for watching and I'll see everyone next time. Have a good day.